Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, we're going to show you how to use a TENS unit with elbow pain. Basically, we're going to show you correct pad placement. Brad and I have looked at dozens and dozens of TENS units, and most of them are really actually pretty good. Yep. So They all work fairly decent. Yeah, they all work fairly decent. What we did find, though, a lot of them don't have very good instructions. Sure. Uh some of them don't have virtually any instructions, it seems. <laughs> so we decided we're going to endorse one brand. We're endorsing iRelieve. Uh, and with the iRelieve brand, we did do videos uh, describing how to use some of their specific products. Right. Uh, their product number were like was one was the 1313, 8080, and the 5050. If you go to Bob and Brad, our website, bobandbrad.com, all spelled out, uh, go to the program section, and then you'll find the ten series. And we got a whole bunch of videos all about tens, depending on where your pain is and how to use a tens. And we'll demonstrate those three units. If you got a different unit from a different uh, manufacturer, manufacturer, that's fine. Uh, but we can't help you. <laughs> well, the we pad placement is the same. Right. The concepts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No matter what which pads you have. Our pads actually aren't colored like this. We colored them just so that you know when we're using channel one and channel two. Right. But our pads are normally just black. Right. And almost all TENS units have two channels. That's pretty common. Right. So with the elbow pain, we're talking about maybe tennis elbow, which is where, Brad? Right where this red spot is, a most common complaint. It's pretty specific. It can get spread out. If it's sure. a real severe case, uh, golfer's elbow, golfer's elbow. Uh, is typically right here by the medial epicondyle. Medial epicondyle that's why it's technically medial, medial epicondylitis sure. and lateral epicondylitis. And then we're all going to do one just for kind of general pain. Maybe mm -hmm. you have arthritis or something, and, sure. and we'll show you one with four pads. Let's start off with one pad. What's the first thing, Brad, though? You, you do talk about shaving hair and maybe cleaning it, Yeah, if, if you have a lot of hair, because uh, it makes the... The pads will last a lot longer. Their stick uh, stickiness to the skin is much better if their hair is gone. Um, and it, and it also the the skin is clean. Right. Yeah. Uh, soap, soap and, and water. water. Let it dry off thoroughly. So th again, there's really no specific right or wrong to pad placement. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you some general guidelines, and you got to figure out which one works best for you. Yep. So let's start off with the tennis elbow. Uh, the first thing you do is try one pad right on top of the right on top of the pain. Mm -hmm. And this is where we're just going to first just use one channel and two pads. So the second pad can either be below the pain and how much far, how far apart do you keep Brad? Well, the, the width of a pad or, you know, between three or four fingers. So you might go, a lot of times I have my patients say, put four fingers on there and go right about there a little close, you know, plus or minus a half inch is, sure. is not a big deal, but you definitely don't want to go this close sure. or touching for sure. You never yeah. want to have them touch. Um, there we go. We could go there or we could experiment with going up here. Sure. Um, should I just continue on? Yeah, Bob? continue on. Okay. Uh, then we could uh, go one above and one below and get that tens, Stimulation going right now, across. If you're saying it. above, you have to be like that. Because that, <laughs> that's yeah. fine, Brad. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. They understand. I mean, getting what we're technical doing. on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you do have more global pain around this part of the elbow, then you could go four or two right. channels, four electrodes, and I'm going to put one there and one there. Channel one, and and that's by the yellow pads. And yep. then channel two is a green pad. There, and. Now, Brad's been using these pads a lot, uh, also on hairy areas, so they're not sticking as well as they should right now. Right. Yeah, because yeah, I started with these on my leg. You can see the marks. And the hair, when you got this much hair, it pulls off and it sticks on there, which really, really uh, decreases uh, the stickiness. But what this does now, it actually creates a cross. Yep. You can see how it makes a cross, and that'll work on the whole elbow to some extent. Now, you can also do more of a the, well yeah a tea. I, i'm going to show this and there is one thing that you have to with certain joints elbow is one of them i could go there but now 
I can't put it oh, on right. the crux right. because when you bend your elbow, unless you're going to keep your arm straight, yeah, which just, most people don't. Right. When you bend it, then it it, it doesn't it doesn't hold. It's not so a help well. on a either either end. On on this side, it's going to bend, and on this side, it's going to bend. So yeah, yeah. So that option, if you're doing a cross, that first option was yeah. Why really don't you the do a T one. now, Brad? Where you put one right above it and one below it. There. Yeah. And this is very similar. And then uh, one on each side of it, of the pane. Well, and again, you can't do that one, yep, can you? Yep. So again, we're getting into the, yeah. the, the crux of we're, the elbow, which it, it just, you, you don't have. We're kind of, we're discovering this as we're showing it. Uh, so we, you really can't do that. You really are limited to the, yep. the, the cross. Which you're going to, you're going to find a way to make yeah, it work. You know, there's work. plenty of options. Right. I've never had not having them, people not have success. Now we always options. promise with each one of our videos too, that maybe when the pain has gone down a little bit, that you, you can go ahead and we're going to show you one thing to try, one physical therapy treatment. So what I'm going to recommend is what works especially well with uh, tennis elbow or golfer's elbow is cross fiber friction massage. So what are you going to do is, you know, the tender point is usually right around in here. You're going to go into the muscle belly here, a little bit into the tendon, mm -hmm. and you're going to take one finger, maybe on one on top of each other, or maybe side by side, and you're going to go deep down into the tissue. The arm should be relaxed on a pillow. Right. And you're going to go deep down in there, and you do cross fiber across the fibers of the muscle, and you're going to deep down, and you're doing a massage on that area. Now, if it you start doing the massage and it just the pain starts getting worse and worse and worse, it's too soon for that. Continue with the tens for a while, maybe some ice. Yep. If it starts to, after let's say 30 seconds to a minute, starts to actually level out the pain yep. or even feel better, you're doing the right thing. That's exactly what you want to do. You're breaking up scar tissue, you're helping it get blood flow to the area, helping it heal stronger. So you can do this. For a couple minutes, a couple times a day, uh, you can do it every other day, and and see if that gives you some pain relief. Yep. A lot of people do get pain relief. Yeah, that. it's been a very very common uh, good results on that particular yeah. technique. I I think the tense comes in handy here. Like if you have arthritis in the shoulder or in the elbow, mm -hmm. and it's really tough to make that go away. <laughs> you yeah, I mean? yeah, you're not going to do cross friction massage yeah. and the joint has arthritis. Right. I mean, you could. You could give it a try and see what happens. Uh, that's right. <laughs> All right. Check out the rest of our TENS videos um, on Bob and Brad. There you go. Thanks for watching. Thank you.